Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to manage list membership on your Lyris uh, list. So a couple things we're going to do is first we'll go to the URL which is seen up here on the top, list.em.ohio.gov and we'll go ahead and log in with your uh, username. Your username is typically set to be the same thing as your uh, primary email address. And we'll supply our password here. All right, so we're logged in. Um, most of you have one list, so when you log in, it'll shoot you straight into the first list or the only list that you have. If you have more than one list, it's gonna log you into the last list that you were working with. To see the other list that you have, you can click the upper right corner where it has your list name, and it'll bring you to all the uh, other lists that you have the ability to work with. For today's purpose, we're gonna stay in the test list. So let's look at our list membership. What we're going to talk about is how to add a single member, how to add multiple members, and then we'll talk about how to delete one user and delete multiple users. To add a single user, we went to the Members tab, Add Member, and we're going to click Add Member again. We can enter the user information from this point, just follow the screen. So we're going to type in uh, Ben at test.com, and that is all that you would have to add. We'll click Save. And if we want to prove ourselves that that worked, we go look at it under View Members, and we see Ben at test.com. So let's go ahead and delete this, this out of here. Uh, you'll see it just a little delete button here. You can click on it. It'll uh, ask for verification. Click Delete again, and it's been deleted. Now let's uh, add a list uh, administrator. So we can do it the same way. We're going to go to Add Member, type Ben at test.com. You will have to put in a name this time. So we're just going to type a, a name, Ben. We'll go to List Admin tab. And these are slightly configurable. You'll need to set uh, Yes is a List Administrator. And then the rest of them are pretty much uh, whatever you choose to do. However, what I normally see is you want them to get the List Administrator email. You want them to be getting the moderation notifications. And most of the time, you want them to bypass moderation. The bypass basically means when they send the list out, it's going straight out. There is no second chance. It just goes out to all the members. And finally, you'll need to set a password. Uh, and you'll set it here, and you'll enter a second time, and then you'll click Save, and the user has been created. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see the been at test. Already lives on a couple other ones. All right, so we see Ben at test.com is now here. So if I want to delete a bunch of users at one time, we can look at the membership by view members, which brings us right back here, and we can click delete all results. It's going to delete everyone that you see here currently. If we had more people that would be able to be shown in this one uh, pane, you could go down the bottom and click show more. When you do that, it's, the list is uh, obviously going to grow and show you everyone, and you would go to the right-hand side and be able to scroll down and see everyone you would click delete all results and you pretty much leave it the default settings here and you would click delete. Notice this checkbox is already clicked. If you uncheck that it's going to delete the list of administrators also which is you. So you probably don't want to uncheck that because then you're not going to be able to work with it and you'll need to contact us again at the CSC at Ohio.gov and ask to have yourself added back to your list. Well, let's go back here to the list and finally there's one more way to delete a person off your list. Uh, you can go to delete member on the left hand side and we can type in the email address explicitly, so ben at test.com, and we'll click delete. It'll go find him. Yep, there he is. And we'll click delete again. And it tells you he was successfully deleted. And okay. So if we look at view members, we can see we're back down to three. It's deleted ben at test.com. Now, how to add members. So we already covered adding a person directly through the uh, web GUI, which is what we've been working in. Uh, another way to add a person is through a CSV file. First thing is we'll need to create a CSV file. The CSV file we're, we're going to use is uh, we're creating out of Microsoft Excel. And let me bring this over so everybody can see it. All right, so column A, uh, row one is the header. Email ADDR underscore. That's the header. Any email address that we put underneath of it is going to be uh, an address that it's going to try to load, which will then be a, a valid recipient of your email list. 
So we've added these in here. We're going to click Save. Or if you just created it, you're going to click Save As. And make sure that when you're clicking Save As, you're selecting CSV, comma, delimited. You notice there's a couple other CSVs. It says Macintosh or MS-DOS. Make sure you select the one that just says comma, delimited. And we're going to click Save. Place it. Okay, yes. And now we'll go back to Lyris. Now let's add members. We're going to use our CSV file. We'll browse. Find our list that we just made. We're going to tell it, uh, we're going to leave the defaults in place. We're going to import quietly. That basically means everyone we're going to add is just going to get added instead of sending them a notification telling them that they've been added. Uh, most people typically find that not very convenient to end users. It's just kind of an annoying extra email they get. Uh, after 10 consecutive malformed email addresses, it's going to quit. You have an option to, to change these, so you could do 20, 50. Uh, it really depends on the size of the list that you're dealing with. Some of you in the HR sector with the larger agencies, you might be loading a list with 20, 30,000 users. So you might want to up the you know, acceptable rate of uh, malformed addresses. However, if you're only working with a list of 20, uh, you might want to leave it alone because if you got more than 10, well, half your list is bad, so we don't want to do that. We need to go back in and figure out why your list was malformed. Maybe you're missing the at symbol and email address, or uh, you don't have a dot com at the end of it, or whatever it might be. So, so we've selected our list. We'll click import, and it's going to give us a little bit of information. We can see that the list knows that there was three users already present, and it found one that was not present. That was the test.com address. So it tells us, you know, I imported one. I found three duplicates, but I went ahead and imported the uh, one that was not a duplicate, and I'm complete. So we'll click OK, and let's go check it out and make sure it worked. We'll click View, and we see Ben at test.com is back on the list. And let's go ahead and delete it. So we've covered how to add a single user, how to add multiple users, and uh, three different ways of deletion. Uh, one through the View members, one through the Delete members tab, and uh, we yeah, enter them. Through delete members, select members. Yeah. All right. So that covers everything with the adding and removing users on your Lyris list. Thank you.